Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Today's lesson will be focusing on a troubled area for candidates in an exam. Now, this area is end of period adjustments, but a specific topic that I'll be zeroing on is bad debts. Now, if that was a challenge for you, or is a, is, or is a challenge for you, don't worry, because the objective is at the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand bad debts. Now, what is bad debt? A debt owing to a business which is unlikely to be collected. That is a debt owing to a business that is unlikely to be collected. And basically, when debtors fail to settle their accounts for items sold on credit, a bad debt will occur. So when your debtors, which are your trade receivables, fail to settle their account, there will be bad debt. But let's explore what will cause the bad debt. When will bad debts occur? If the debtor or trade receivable is declared bankrupt and is thus unable to pay the debt, is suffering a loss in the business, then this person or business will be unable to pay their debt. And of course, that will result in bad debt. Another is where the debtor or trade receivable as a dispute on goods or services supplied. Now with that dispute, there may be a case where someone had purchased a dress. And upon receiving the dress, they tried it on and the thread start pulling. The dress started pulling out, out, apart. Now, what will you do as a customer? In this case, you're putting yourself in that position where you are the individual that purchased this dress from the store on credit. Now, you take back that dress to the store and uh, the store owner decides that he or she's not going to replace it or give you a credit note for that dress. They are not standing the loss. From your end as the customer, what are you going to do? Some customers will pay, but some you'll find that they will not pay for any damaged item. So therefore there will be a dispute on the goods supplied and therefore, because of that, the individual is not paying and the business is aware that the individual will not pay, then of course, this will result in a bad debt. There is another case where from the business end, the individual or individuals are not paying. When I say individuals, I'm referring to the trade receivable or you may know it as data. In fact, there's another term for, for that, which is account receivable. If it is that the account receivable is not paying, the data is not paying, then businesses will explore avenues in collecting the debt. They might engage, after writing the individual, might engage into a, the service of a debt collector. The debt collector tried to retrieve it, and uh, they are still not paying. It might be a case where the business try to use other medium to, uh, to, to, to basically collect this debt that is owing, but the cost in pursuing that further action in an attempt to collect the debt exceeds the debt itself. The business will not take on this additional expense 
in trying to recover that debt. So therefore, this will result in a bad debt. So as I indicated, if it is that the cost of pursuing further action in an attempt to collect the debt exceeds the debt itself, the business will not take on that cost and therefore they'll write off the amount as a bad debt. And that is the amount that is owing by the debtor or debtors. Now, let's look at the accounting treatment for bad debt. When I say accounting treatment, what I'll be focusing on, how do you treat this in your financial statement? In the financial statement, bad debt is classified as an expense. So therefore, you would list this among the other expenses incurred by the business for the accounting period. And thus, this will decrease the firm's profit. It's an expense, so it will decrease the firm's profit. It represents money loss by the business, which is why it is regarded as an expense. So if you were wondering why it is that bad debt is an expense, it is money lost by the business and therefore it is regarded as an expense. Now, if it is that you had that challenge with bad debt, in understanding bad debt, we are now at the end of this lesson and our objective was to understand bad debts. I'm sure you do understand the concept now. And in further sessions, in other sessions, I'll be looking at journal entries for bad debt. There will be sessions on the ledger account, accounting entries for bad debts. So look out for those session. Until then, this is it for this session. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.